The winds, as Katie mentioned, are packing a punch down the shore and flooding is a major concern. Our team coverage continues now with Cleve Bryan. He is live on the boardwalk in Atlantic City with a look at the storm's impact there. Cleve, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rahel. Well, right now it's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, the wind is coming out of the west, southwest, and so that's why when you look at the ocean, it's pretty calm looking because the wind at the moment is blowing out towards the ocean. It's causing those waves to just slowly lap in about three to four foot waves at the moment. Um, right now, what you're seeing is close to low tide. Low tide is going to be just before 2 p.m. High tide was 7.30 this morning. So it was more of an issue with the flooding, with the rain, the wind, and the back bays. Right now, we're getting a pretty strong gust, actually, as we speak, as we try and hold our camera steady and hold my hat on. Uh, so this is definitely a gusty event, and it's going to be a tide-driven event as far as the flooding. Uh, back on the bay side of Atlantic City and all along the barrier islands, they depend on uh, the storm drains to dump the water out into the bay. But when you have a lot of wind for a long period of time, the bays back up and the streets just can't drain the way they're supposed to. Again, we're getting one of those gusts right now where you kind of put a foot behind you and brace yourself. Uh, so you have to watch out when you're coming down during the tide cycles. Tonight, high tide is going to be around 8 o'clock. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be one of the highest tides and one of the more dangerous times as far as the roads are concerned and the flooding. Um, so do not drive through any standing water. Uh, look out for those alerts. Atlantic City puts alerts on their social media letting you know which roads are closed. Uh, I checked in with the police department just a little while ago. They said, they didn't have any rescues in cars or homes because of flooding this morning. So that's a good thing. Uh, this is a very typical nor'easter sort of weather pattern. You're going to have uh, flooding with, this, with the uh, tide cycles. Uh, when the rain's coming down with the wind, it's going to be a problem. And of course, you're going to have beach erosion. Uh, so we're going to continue to monitor that throughout the afternoon. Uh, when you come home from work, if you live at the barrier islands, make sure you park your car somewhere that is high up. All those uh, streets that are flood prone, will likely flood in Atlantic City. I know they have the wave garage that's by the outlets that's going to be free. Uh, so we'll continue to look around uh, for some of the signs of erosion. And uh, this is just uh, kind of in the middle of it. And the winds are expected to build, according to the National Weather Service. This is a live report in Atlantic City. Cleve Bryan, CBS 3.